Hi, and welcome back to Pet of the Week. We have Aurora, a very sweet girl. So to introduce us to Aurora, we have Amy Clatterbuck, Director of Operations for Hearts Alive Village. Thanks for joining us this morning. Thanks for having us. Aurora was so excited. She so, is so cute. This is our six and a half year old bully blend. I think she's blended with Boxer. She just has that perfect Boxer face. Mm -hmm. She is great with other dogs. Doesn't seem to mind cats too much. Loves kids. She's just looking for that perfect home. Somebody willing to play with her with a garden hose, especially. <laughs> that is yeah. a key feature. Okay, that's good to know. Any other specifications that people should know about? It sounds like she'd be a good fit for a lot of homes. She is. She's a little bit energetic, but in classic uh, nugget fashion, she is couch potato. <laughs> she loves just to curl up and on the intake area with me and take a little nap. So best of both worlds. Yeah, she's I love a good that. girl. Okay, so uh, let's talk a little bit about Hearts Alive Village. Okay. I know that you guys are Just staying can't. busy, but hey, if someone can't help by adopting some of these animals out, there's always a fostering option, right? Fostering is the only thing that allows us to keep doing what we're doing. Um, it saves lives. There's there's absolute truth to that. We're lucky enough to have a retreat where the dogs come and can stay till they find a home, but we could save more if they had a, a nice couch or a bed to, to crash on for a little bit. And it gives them the opportunity to really kind of see how they are and fit in where you know a family's best a house is best for them and it's always fun when there's a foster fail right when someone ends up falling we in love like to call it animal. foster to forever oh i like that <laughs> yes. which happens Softly often not a fail. And, and you know fostering is a great way to add another family member too yeah. you never know you might just think you're helping out a dog but you're actually extending your family and if maybe dogs or cats aren't someone's thing they'd rather have a, a horse or a goat there's also a sanctuary to check out right yes we uh, just recently opened our horse ranch and sanctuary um, right now we have four horses up there, a couple goats. I think there's about four goats up there. Um, we're building our barn that will house 20 horses. Um, and, you know, it's really going to be a sanctuary for these these larger animals that need help along with her and her, her feline friends. <laughs> but um, and it's also going to be a volunteer experience, too, to go up there and do therapies with veterans. And, you know, we're, we're really excited for the, for the barn raising. Okay. R lots of really great options there. And if someone is interested in adopting this sweet girl, Aurora, or, uh, what is their first step in, in starting that process? They would go to our website at www.heartsalivevillage.org and under adoptable dogs, just click on our picture and hit apply and we'll we'll be in touch because she's she's going to get going fast because she's, she's a great girl. I was going to say, I'm sure there's going to be plenty of families hoping to make her a part of theirs. Let's hope so. All right. <laughs> All right, so we'll be posting those links for you to help you find her really quickly on our website as well. That's ktnv.com. And we'll be right back after this. 